Today we have the pleasure of interviewing Sue Folix, the Vice President of Global Renal Marketing with Genzyme. Welcome, Sue, to the red carpet. Thank you very much. So it's Folix meets Foley here, right? I think that's right. Folix meets Foley. How about that? Okay, I'd like to ask you a little bit, Sue, about what in what ways has the HBA helped you develop your own leadership potential? You know, I, I think it's great that you asked, Kathy, because it was at this event, uh, when I was actually nominated as a rising star at the time at Aventus, that I learned about the HBA and really got to know it. And there's been really, I'd say, three things that, that I think about as really having developed. It's been a safe environment to experiment with leadership, and it's been a, a place where it's really amazing to see what women with different experiences that set common goals can accomplish together. And finally, it's really been a place where the gift of receiving and giving uh, feedback and friendship and, and coach, peer mentoring and coaching together has been really valuable along the way in my own career. So it's great to be back. Well, welcome, Sue, again. I just think it's amazing that your experiences have come full circle related to the HBA starting at a Woman of the Year as a rising star. You took the time then to investigate all the full benefits and services, and it seems like you've learned a lot. So speaking of that, tell me what special initiatives or programs you might be working on today for the HBA. It's funny you should say, actually today, we're working on a new program that HBA will be offering this fall, and I'm really excited to be part of it. As you know, leadership is something that doesn't happen with just one interaction, right? It's something that develops over time. So we're building a program, a blended learning program that will have some online and interpersonal components, some blogging, webcasting, other resources for learning, be launched in September. And it's going to be featuring our woman of the year who has graciously, Frida has graciously volunteered to, to spearhead this project with us. And in fact, the first leadership in practice module, uh, this three month continuum is going to be topic will be equanimity under duress and uh, conversation in leadership. And, and if you think about all the change in our industry these days, who doesn't need equanimity under duress and, and what great leader doesn't possess it? So learning how to develop that with a skill-based approach will be our goal with that program. So I'm, I'm very excited. There'll be information about it on the HBA website shortly. So look forward to that. Well, as the leader of the Indiana chapter, I'm excited to be able to bring services like this to our members because it really shows that the HBA is a forward-thinking organization and brings the tools to help a woman really develop her own potential. So, Sue, thank you so much for providing your leadership back to the HBA. Thank you, Kathy.